Well, welcome back. New day. Engine block. All put together, ready to roll. Everything is buttoned up. Trans is ready to go. Uh, it's on the uh, little rolling dolly for now. Uh, I got the bell housing clutch behind me on the table. So I've got to work to get these together. First things first though, I've got to get this uh, engine off the engine stand back on the cradle. It's a little bit of a funny setup. Um, they've got two engine mounts on the front, um, but the two rear mounts are actually on the bell housing. You can't get the bell housing on until you get it off the engine cradle um, or uh, engine stand. Um, so first things first, just going to pick her up with the hoist, uh, get these front engine mounts back on the cradle block we have. Uh, we'll support the rear until we can get the bell housing on. Then we should be able to set her back down on all fours and we can work on getting the clutch installed and getting the transmated back up. Going to be a little bit of rolling around on the floor. The engine cradle is going to be a little bit lower, but is what it is. Short job, hopefully. So let's get to it. Just going to dunk one of the uh, intake manifold bolts back in. Uh, we got some spares, so it doesn't matter if they get dingled up at all. They're a fairly sturdy, sturdy bolt. Um, Use that to pair up with this front lift hook. They actually normally have one back here. For whatever reason, it's missing. I don't have that uh, engine lift hook. Um, it might be a model year thing. It might have just gotten lost over the years when the intake manifold came on and off in the, in the chassis. Uh, but they do lift by those intake bolts, uh, manifold bolts. Uh, I'm going to use the rear hoist back here, uh, but it'll be nice to have one more on this side just to help balance the engine out. So basically get two on this front, two on the back. We should lift it up, balance it pretty good. Um, if you lift it one corner or the other, it can get a little bit wobbly. Uh, so put a big washer on there, should hold it. Uh, give, give us something to bite on, um, and then the back should be good to go. This transmission needs to get out of the way though. Yoink! Alrighty, bell housing's on, rear engine mount brackets are on again, so we got her stabilized, kind of got her leveled out. Time to dunk the flywheel on. Centering pin is up at the top. Woofta. Get on there, little fella. There 
They all got a little sealer on them. Just get them started so we don't get any junk on them. So they need 60 foot pounds. We're just going to rip around kind of in a cross pattern at 31st just to snug everything down. Get them in the vicinity. Now time for a clutchy a clutch face to go in, snout forward, flywheels clean, pilot bearings in. Give it a little wiggle. Now clutch is hanging out in there. Pressure plates all cleaned up. Oof -ta. not getting any lighter. I'll give her a check. Otherwise, she's torqued down on the bolts there. Marked with dicum. So then we'll check our fingers and uh, go from there. Uh, time to dunk the old throw bearing arm back on. Uh, first things first, gonna dunk this boot back in. It's a little easier to do it without an arm on it. Should be the boot. So, had an idea to just use a little bit of the liquid gasket, kind of silicone. I uh, was able to tape this guy up, hold it in place to get that uh, crinkle out of it. So, she's sitting pretty good now. Should be good to go. I uh, did throw the clutch slave on while we were waiting for that. Uh, Schmoo to dry. Uh, so we should be back to being able to dunk the throw up bearing and release arm in there. Hopefully we can get her through here without disrupting our rubber boot. Let's see where my nugget is. Come on, friend. Well, alrighty, uh, regroup a little bit. Uh, clutch is in, pressure plates on, throw out bearing is in. I uh, managed to fix his boot. Um, it was not laying in there right, it kind of had a crease from way back in the day. I um, was able to just put a little bit of the kind of liquid gasket silicone um, along that top edge, tape it with that cure. So that kind of let that all fall into place. 
So we're looking pretty good there. So we've got the throttle bearing and the throttle bearing arm on. Put the clutch slave on. Snug that all up so that's sitting pretty good. That'll help keep this throttle bearing arm where it's supposed to be. Um, you can kind of do it before or after, but a little easier to do it now. Um, so we're going to have to wiggle around through with the trans, but should be sitting pretty good. Um, got our bell housing bolts out. So next up really is just trying to figure out a good way, if we can, to get this trans. Well, it's facing the wrong way now. Uh, come around, friend. Um, so right now she's sitting a little low, but the dolly I think will be helpful. So if we can get her blocked up to where it's the right height between the two of them, should make our lives a little bit easier. We're off by probably six inches or so. Um, so we'll fiddle around. I can use the chain hoist to pick that up and twist it around a little bit because she is a forky little fella. Um, and we can figure out some cribbing or blocking to get that leveled because it is sitting crooked based on the shape of it as well as uh, got to get that vertical. So we're going to dink around a little bit. We'll see what we can figure out bringing it back in a bit. Well, I got to pull the centering tool out. It's holding up the throwout bearing for now, but with a 6x6 six six and then a 4x4 four four with a shim in the back and then using some, it actually worked out pretty good. So this dolly underneath is actually a square with a hole in the middle. Um, so I got a piece of plywood sitting there. Uh, what was nice is you could actually lift up the plywood and put shimming underneath without messing with this kind of cribbing. Uh, so you could use the cribbing to get trans to sit straight because it's got a weird bottom. Um, and then you could just lift up with a jack on the back and front to get it leveled and the right height. So I think we're pretty close. Um, I'm going to have to back it up, pull that throw out or the clutch centering tool. Hopefully we can wiggle it on forward and get her to seat. So let's see how she goes. Well, Trent has all made it up, clutches in, everything's torqued down, everything's buttoned up pretty good. Um, new day, got a little bit of rain going on outside. I uh, did move the chassis on over, uh, so we got her in the stall we need her. Uh, so next thing, just got to pick this feller up, uh, get her up on the hoist. Uh, we can spin her around right now, she's sitting backwards, so Trans is facing out towards the door. But that's the back end of the frame, so... I'm um, just going to spin the motor around. I pulled the frame in this way uh, just to make it easier for bringing the tub on. Um, basically, once we get the motor and trans in, uh, we can push the frame back out to where that is, slide the uh, tub rooney on over. As you can tell, the back of the tub's facing that way. Um, we should be able to pick it off, kind of do the same thing, push the, push the frame under the tub. So rather than trying to wrangle the frame around once the engine's in, she gets a little heavy, believe it or not. Um, it's just easier to spin this around when she's out in the, when you pick it up with the chain. So we'll get that done. Uh, pick her up, push the frame underneath. Should be able to just set her on down on the engine mounts, buckle that in, and we can start getting all the miscellaneous bits buckled in and uh, see how she'll fire. But that'll be another day. First things first, let's get her picked up, spun around, and we'll get that frame back under.
Oops. Well, she's strapped in. She's lifting up pretty good. Um, Got to get a driver to get that feller off. Oops, I guess that'll work. I think it's both of them. I thought one was a 12. She's all buckled in. Just got this guy to help level it out. Uh, keeps that transmission tail from getting a little bit loose. Well, she's sitting in the frame, sitting on the engine mounts, got to bolt them in. Just going to work my way around, get them kind of wiggled in while she's still got some movement. Well, she's cleaned up back in her home. All uh, the motor mounts are torqued down as well as you can, that's rubber. Um, otherwise, she's all in, she's where she needs to be. Everything fits, so that's a good thing. Uh, good to have it back in its home. Really looking forward to firing her up for the first time after the rebuild, uh, but that'll be a follow up. Uh, but otherwise, went pretty good. Ended up bringing it across the center of the frame because you got a rolling dolly up there, up on the the trolley chain hoist. Uh, a little easier than trying to get it over the rear bumper because that sits pretty high comparatively. Um, so it was nice to be able to just pick it up and scooch it on over. Um, but like I say, feels good. Pretty major milestone to get the 
majority of the drivetrain back in. Obviously, you got to put the drive shafts on, but that's pretty minor. Um, and there's a little bit of stuff left to do. We've got to put the intakes. Uh, got to put the manifolds back on. I uh, got to get the sniper on. I uh, got to get the fuel lines run. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's all minor. Um, but that's where we're going to wrap this one here today. She is pouring cats and dogs out there if you can't hear it. Um, and we will start slapping more parts on next time. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.